Hi, in this video I want to briefly reflect on the role of assumptions in our research, in our study. Uh, I mean assumptions about our data or our expectations about what we will find in the data. So uh, initially when we think about assumptions and research and findings from research, uh, we tend to think that it's uh, definitely something harmful. So we think about bias, we think about uh, imposing our assumptions on our data, uh, etc, etc. So something that may negatively influence our results, our findings. Uh, but what I want to argue is that in principle assumptions are or don't have to be such a bad thing. And I don't believe they are bad at all, in fact. So I believe that we, ha we have to have some assumptions because uh, they tend to guide our research, our thinking, they tend to uh, drive our, our curiosity and drive our whole idea of a study, so our motivation. We do, we do need uh, certain assumptions uh, in order to develop uh, our, our research idea, our proposal. Uh, so, like I said, in principle, I think they are not only not, not only are they not bad, but they are actually essential to our, our research. Of course, they can be uh, problematic and they can, uh, for example, we may over rely on our assumptions and this may kind of block or uh, limit our findings. We can also uh, develop uh, the whole uh, method of data collection in terms of uh, a single assumption of what we'll find in the data. So, for example, we may structure an interview guide uh, only thinking about this one thing that we expect to find. and. Sometimes it can be a problem, especially if, for example, we're uh, developing or we're conducting a really uh, exploratory study, like a grounded theory study, where we want to uh, our findings to emerge fully from the data. So we're exploring under, an under-researched uh, topic or ph phenomenon, and in this case, uh, having these assumptions may be problematic and in fact I have done it before so I have done this uh, this mistake of over relying on my assumptions so when I was investigating uh, a phenomenon or a concept that I called uh, English language identity uh, of Polish migrants in Scotland I was really hoping to hear about this identity from them so I had uh, my interview my interview guide and in my pilot study I kept asking people about their identity, their uh, identity when they speak uh, English and their identity when they speak uh, Polish, so their mother tongue. And I expected everybody to tell me all about their identity. But uh, I could tell that they were very confused and they, they really didn't know what I was talking about or what I wanted from them. And I was quite frustrated as well because I didn't know what I was doing wrong. So. Uh, Eventually, I reflected on this whole process in my uh, researcher uh, journal and I started to think uh, that maybe this identity thing is, is what I expect them to tell me. But they, uh, so maybe this is my assumption, maybe they don't want to tell me or they don't know how to tell me about their identity because I also observed that they were really keen on talking to me and they described a whole range of experiences in such detail and they were will, uh, really willing to talk to me, except that they didn't really uh, talk about what I believed at the time to be identity. But then, then I decided I should actually give them this freedom and not worry about my identity that I expect, uh, expect to find or, or hear. And eventually, long story short, I did find uh, my identity in their, in the, in their uh, stories. So, they talked about their stories, about their experiences, and eventually, in the process of analysis, I realized that a lot of it was actually had to do with their identity, except that they didn't call it this way. So, so this is exactly what I wanted uh, to tell you, that uh, what I did was reflect on these assumptions. So, I wanted to tell you that it's not uh, possible or desirable not to have any assumptions or to discard all your assumptions because like I said they are at the core of your research but instead uh, what you should do is uh, be very explicit about these assumptions very open uh, about the assumptions and recognize them and acknowledge these assumptions so uh, you can do this as I said by uh, reflecting on them in your for example research diary or journal 
And this may be very helpful because uh, recognizing these assumptions may not only help you develop uh, a lot of new ideas when it comes to analysis to your study, uh, but also being aware of these assumptions, as it happened in my case, uh, may later help you uh, recognize them and uh, recognize the moment when these assumptions, rather than guiding your research or your, uh, your data analysis, begin to dominate it or command your research analysis, because that's when I believe it can be problematic. If you're exclusively uh, based on a single assumption, so all your analysis is based on this, this assumption, so reflecting and being uh, open about these assumptions may help you recognize uh, when this becomes a problem. Please uh, bear in mind what I said about uh, the role of assumptions. So, don't uh, don't pretend that you don't have any assumptions because you don't have to. It's it's not desirable not to have any assumptions or to pretend that you don't have any assumptions. You will naturally have some, and you need to use them uh, for your own advantage.